Hey everybody, welcome to the first tutorial in the Creating Custom Definitions series. We're going to create some custom definitions and make a Python Madlib, which is a pretty silly use of a Python program, but you can do whatever you want with Python. And I'm assuming that you're a beginner, that you're new to Python, and that you haven't created a bunch of definitions yet. So this series should help you get comfortable creating and using definitions. All right. So to begin, you need to open up a text editor, and we're going to start the way we we'll almost always start. We'll import, um, excuse me, sys, comma, os, and now we're going to import something you might not have. We're going to import pi uh, tts, that's for text-to-speech x3. And I should make it clear that in this series, we're going to be just using vanilla Python 3. Uh, I've tried to use this with the Anaconda version of Python, and I had a, a difficult time getting this uh, Pi TTSX3 module to install with the Anaconda. It may install with other versions of Python. If you want to do this tutorial and you want the text-to-speech function of it, then you'll need to, as far as I know, you'll need to use the Python 3 vanilla version. So to, to check and see if you have it, this is how I check anyway, you open up a terminal, here we're in Python project, and you open up Python, and you just say import the module you're interested in, pi tts x3. In my case, it says I have it. If I try to import something that doesn't exist, doesn't exist, it'll say no module name doesn't exist, right? Because it doesn't exist. So if you get that error, then what you need to do is exit your Python uh, interactive session, and you would say pip install uh, pi ttsx3. And if I do that, it won't hurt anything. It just says that the requirement is already satisfied. So, all right, let's go back to our program here. So assuming that you've got that installed, uh, we can start to move on. Now, with any with any program that you have, with any module that you import, there's going to be things that you don't know about them, of course. We're going to move in this, in this series and in all the series. We're just going to kind of forge ahead, and I'm going to assume that if you want to learn more about the, the modules that you we come across, that you use the help function. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now, but I won't show you that forever. So again, open up an interactive session. Once it is installed, you import pi ttsx3. So the first thing you might do is just say help pi ttsx3. Put it in parentheses, and it, there's a help file here. So it's telling you the name of the of the module pi ttsx3, package contents driver drivers engine six voice. All right. So you can see if you hit enter, you you can you get more information. Um, I'm going to just up arrow and do that again to see it again. So there's these five different package contents here. And so uh, if you want to look at that, you might I'm going to see if this works, actually. Help engine. All right, so that didn't work. But it might work to say pi ttsx3 dot engine. All right, so that did work. So now it's telling us that there's a built-in object for Pi TTX3 called engine. That's the one we're going to be using. And it has a bunch of stuff that we're going to be using. Methods, we have an init method, a connect method that we're going to use. We won't use disconnect. Get properties, we're going to use that. Um, run and wait, we're going to use that. So anyway, it's got a lot of stuff. Say, we're going to use that. So. Um, we don't need to run the interactive session anymore, so let's go back to our file. All right. So if you want to learn more about the engine, you can you could again continue to add a dot and the next thing, and it'll give you another help file about that particular thing and what kind of inputs that it takes, etc. So the first thing we're going to do, we're going to make a few definitions, and it doesn't matter if you understand right off the bat what these definitions are for or what they do. The, the definitions themselves are very simple. But they're going to be used as input into some of the parameters that the PyTTSX3 engine needs. 
So again, a lot of programming is using stuff and you don't totally understand what it is there for, but you learn it along the way. So let's make three little quick definition files. We're gonna say on start name. So we're gonna pass the parameter name into this definition on start. You know, whenever you make a definition, you always tab over one space. And this is a really simple one. It just prints the name, that's it. Let's make another definition. Definition on word. This will take three parameters, name, location, and length. We need a colon at the end of the definition, and this will just print word and name, location, length. Final definition is going to be very similar to these three. On end. Name and completed. Oh. And it's going to print. We're going to say finishing name completed. Okay. So we've, we've created three definitions, and let's go ahead and save this, and we will call this madlib.py. And yeah, we'll replace it. Okay, so we have those three definition files now on start, on word, and on end. We're going to use them in our, our PyTTSX engine, which we're gonna initialize now. So we'll start by saying engine equals by ttsx3 dot init with a open close parentheses. So that initializes the text to speech engine. And now we're going to use the parameter connect. So engine dot connect. And we have to pass in an argument that it's going to recognize. So in this case, we're going to say started utterance. I'm sorry, utterance, is that right? It looks right. That's the first parameter it's looking for. And then the second one is going to be one of these definitions. In this case, for when you pass started utterance, we're going to pass the definition on start. All right. And so what is this going to do? Well, this is going to, I think, I think what this does is that it, it's going to receive it in the, in the next um, part of the, well, the next part that we define is going to be um, what the engine will say. We're going to record, we're going to have some text and then have the engine we say that text. We're going to use the, the computer to have the voice to say the text. And so this is going to both say the text and print the text. And so that's what we want it to do. So we will say, uh, let's invent some text here. We're going to say text equals, I am a robot. Beep, boop. All right, so there's our text. Now we will just say engine.say uh, text, comma, text. And the final thing we need to add here is engine.run and wait. Now, the spacing here is important. I believe that this is called camel casing. Uh, it's not always clear to me whether or not the first letter is supposed to be capitalized. It's, it's not in this case. This is looking for this um, attribute of the engine called run and wait. And what run and wait does is it's going to process anything that's been fed into it from the engine.say parameter. That, that puts it in a queue, so to speak. And it queues up text to say and in some order. And then the run and wait engine um, per attribute will then say the text and in this case it'll also print it to the screen. So this is uh, the start of our quick program. We're going to save and go to our terminal screen here and we will say python madlib.py and we will run it. I am a robot. Beep. Boop. All right. So that was a very basic introduction to uh, how to use some custom definitions. In our next tutorial, we're gonna get a little more involved in starting to create the kind of custom definitions that you'll want to use 
to start to make this into a program that's more like a Mad Lib and not just a program that says the text that you printed into it out loud, although that's quite, you know, a bit of an accomplishment already and kind of fun. So you can feel free to play around with this code, but I'll see you in the next tutorial.